such a great question. You have no idea. Well, here's what happened. When I got to Lifetime, um, the slogan was television for women. But they had shows like Homicide and The Commission. They had shows, programming that had nothing to do with women. And so they said, okay, well, here, go figure this out. And they'd already spent, you know, tens of millions of dollars on this programming that they owned, and there was nothing we could do. But the scariest thing is we did a brand study when I first got there. And what we learned was that women loved the idea of television for women, but everybody perceived Lifetime as being a, a great idea, but not for themselves, for people like their mothers. And the scary <laughs> thing about that is that 60-year-old women were saying, oh, I love the idea of a lifetime, but it's not for me, it's for somebody like my mother, which meant basically we were appealing to 80-year-olds. And that's, and that's what I was that's what I was handed when we first got there. And then, you know, what we did is we brought the demographic way down to about 47, which was a huge, huge accomplishment. But it wasn't by like putting on teenagers. We had to do it kind of slowly. So we did original programming that had 40-year-old stars, which really ultimately brought the, um, the median age down way low. And so a lot of those skills were used when we went over to the CW. Because you know, programming for women, believe it or not, there are a lot of similarities, no matter how old you are. You want to be emotionally connected to, to you know, whatever content you're seeing. You want to learn something from anything that you're watching. And um, for us, the young women particularly want us to be very culturally relevant, which wasn't as important um, on Lifetime, but it's very important to us at the CW. But that's a great question, because you can imagine how horrified we were.